What's up, everybody? This is Matt from America Patriot News, and today we're going to be talking about what's going on in Michigan when it has to do with Matt DiPrino and him getting indicted uh, for uh, what happened in 2020. And uh, we talked a bit about this a little bit today on the live show, but not a lot because we didn't have a lot of time and we got on to other topics as well. And I felt like this needed more coverage about what's going on here. And uh, Romeo? Uh, yeah, no, most most definitely, um, because essentially what they're doing is the Department of Justice is telegraphing to the American people, if you have issues with the election, we are going to charge you with a crime, and at very bare minimum, you're going to spend six figures keeping yourself out of jail. So this isn't anything good. Let's take a look at the article, Matt, and we have a video too, don't we? Breaking, Michigan Democrat AG follows Joe Biden's lead and indicts her former GOP opponent, Matthew DiPerno. Update, DiPerno's attorney responds. Far-left Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel on Tuesday charged her former Republican foe, Attorney Matthew DiPerno, for daring to look at a Dominion voting machine following the 2020 presidential election. This is now against the law in Democrat-run Michigan. Nessel previously appointed special counsel to investigate her Republican opponent, DiPerno, just weeks before the general election. Nessel has made threats against Matthew DiPerno since last year before the midterm elections. Former Republican Attorney General candidate Matthew DiPerno and ex-state representative Dyer Rendon are facing criminal charges for their alleged role in a scheme to access voting machines following the 2020 presidential elections, according to case details provided by the Oakland Circuit County Circuit. Let's go ahead and show that video now. Okay. Yeah, just I'll talk while Matt's bringing the video up, just so everyone understands. Like, So the woman who won the attorney general slot is char has charged her opponent in the election with a crime for looking at machines. Now but we, we the whole story. Now we need to also give some context. What happened was he looked into the machine because he was the actual lawyer for Bill Bailey and Bill Bailey had a lawsuit against Michigan when it comes to Donald Trump's uh, election in 2020. Right. Right. So that context means everything. Yeah. So Matt DiPerno wasn't, you know, off in his own world. Not that it would matter, in my opinion, and bringing, you know, doing unreasonable things. He was the attorney in a suit who, with court permission, looked at the voting machines. And he's yeah. being charged with a crime for that. And uh, the other thing is, when he was running against her, that was in 2022 need to also uh, clarify that. So let's go ahead and uh, bring up the uh, article, uh, the uh, video. An update on a different 2020 related investigation. The Michigan Attorney General has brought criminal charges against two prominent Republicans in Michigan over their alleged roles in the plot to access and seize voting machines across the state of Michigan. Let's go to CNN's Jessica Schneider who's covering this for us. Jessica, who exactly are the defendants in this case and what charges are they facing? Yeah, Jake, we've been tracking all of these developments out of Michigan and the two defendants that have been most recently caught up in uh, being charged with these plots as part of, you know, the plots to overturn the 2020 election. The latest charges coming against two prominent Republicans in the state of Michigan. One of them, Matthew DiPerno, he actually ran for attorney general in that state very recently. The second, a former state representative, Dare Rendon. Now, they have both been arrested, they have been charged, and they were arraigned today in Michigan, and they're facing these charges stemming from their alleged efforts to seize and then access voting machines. Now, remember, back in 2020, there were all these claims from Donald Trump that the votes were rigged in Detroit and that also voting machines in rural parts of Michigan were somehow manipulated. Of course, none of those claims turned out to be true. But as part of this effort, Republicans, allies of Donald Trump in Michigan, they attempted to seize and then access various voting machines throughout the state. 
Because of that, investigations have been ongoing. This particular investigation conducted by a special prosecutor that was named by the state attorney general because of some conflicts of interest from the attorney general. And today we're learning for the first time that at least two of these prominent Republicans have been charged. This is a special prosecutor, DJ Hilson, and we actually got a release from the prosecutor's office saying that this is not the end of the investigation, that we should be potentially expecting more charges because it wasn't just these two defendants involved. There were numerous Republican allies involved uh, in this alleged plot. Notably here, this is the second time we've seen prominent Republicans in Michigan charged in just a matter of weeks. Yeah, this is, CNN makes me sick. Let me start there. The way that they just covered this makes me sick. They totally manipulate their audience, Matt. Well, they pretty much said they're guilty before right. the a, a, uh, court dates, uh, before the uh, defendants get to go uh, get, to, uh, get in court. They're right. trying to They're trying to convict them by public opinion first. Like, like how me and you are doing where we brought this up, then added context. Now we're adding more context. They don't do that. No. It's straight manipulation. Yeah. They don't give you all the information. They only give you part of it. The other thing is, uh, when they looked at these machines, they had permission to look at them. And the, from a, they were... From a, a judge. Yeah. A not judge only that, court. not only that, when they were trying to get more machines, they were trying to get the uh, machines through uh, uh, through the court, and the court said, "No, you don't need to see any more machines." And they abide by it. They're doing it legally, and now they're saying you're guilty of just question election. That's where really what this is. That that's right. Um, this is straight up George Orwell, 1984. They are literally telling the citizens of this country that if you question the government the federal government or state government state democratic policies and politicians you will be charged with a crime and again you may be put in jail but at very bare minimum matt if you're charged with a crime like this your retainer is going to be 50 grand okay and it's going to cost six figures to stay out of jail even if you're righteous. What I'm expecting to see after this, I'm expecting to actually see other states do similar things. Uh, uh, Arizona, I think they're going to do it. I don't think you're going to see it in Georgia because Georgia's run by mostly Republicans. I just don't see it happening. But in Arizona, I think Wisconsin, and maybe even Nevada, you might see this. Yeah, um, just how the headlines yesterday and the day before were that the prosecutors were following suit in the other legal cases and and following the lead of De biden's department of justice that's the same thing that we really fear is going to happen here yeah well uh uh we also have uh DePerno, his lawyer has a uh, a statement he put out let me go ahead and bring it up Cool. Yeah, let's uh, read that so that you're completely informed. I mean, our goal with the audience is to give you the, the complete picture. In response to recent developments, my client wishes to make the following statement regarding the indictment and the charges improperly leveled against him. Today, Mr. DePierno was arraigned on four felony counts by a special assistant to the Office of the Attorney General. He categorically denies any wrongdoing and firmly asserts these charges are unfounded and lack merit. The indictment arises from a court-ordered forensic investigation of the Antrim County election where Mr. DePerno uncovered significant security flaws. He maintains his innocence and firmly believes that these charges are not based upon any actual truth and are motivated primarily by politics rather than evidence. He is confident that justice will prevail and he looks forward to the date when his innocence will be demonstrated in a court of law. He calls on the people of the state of Michigan to stand with him 
during this time as he remains dedicated to the pursuit of truth and justice. Now that's Matthew DiPerno's office. I can't and, even imagine to be charged with a crime for something that I did with a court order. I can't even fathom it. The thing is, I don't see how it's going to cut any kind of mustard with any judge to look at this and say, you're guilty. Essentially, the judge, if they let this case go forward, what they're saying is that another judge in good standing of this state can give you an order which during a civil suit, which allows you to access certain information and you could still be charged for a crime. Yep. Even though you did what you did with a court order, it's absolutely unfathomably fucked. That's why everybody should be concerned about this, especially what, with the audit that happened in Arizona. I think Arizona is the more likely place where you're going to see this situation happen. But guys, this is going to be the end of the video. We really appreciate it. Please hit that like button, comment, and share this out to everybody. So we'll be live tomorrow morning at 930 Central Standard Time. We want to invite you to join us. Um, please have a wonderful rest of your day.